Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion released their long-speculated collaboration together titled WAP. The song is a straightforward sex anthem and marks Cardi's return to music. Now the song itself is just okay, the real selling point of the song is the music video. It has elaborate sets and a lot of different costume changes. Cheetah prints, them dancing on water, and a luxurious house. It also has a star-studded cast. Obviously Megan Thee Stallion is Cardi's future, but then they have Kylie Jenner, who appears out of nowhere doing a mysterious walk down a hallway, which caused a little bit of controversy online, which is the exact reason they put her in the video to drive controversy and attention to it. Smart marketing. Then towards the end of the video, a lot of upcoming female rappers and female entertainers appear. Normani, Rosalia, Mulatto, Sukihana, and Ruby Rose, which was a nice moment to witness. A lot of the female rappers in the video haven't reached their mainstream peak, and it's nice to see them get that acknowledgement. This was a pretty good rollout for Cardi. The song is okay, but the video really brought the heat. In light of this being released, Cardi sat down in an interview and talked about Nicki Minaj and female rap. And I'll just let you guys see what she had to say for yourself. And then there was a time that there was no female rappers at all. Then there was one female rapper that dominated for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? And and she did pretty good. She's and been still dominating, so. I think the beef should be let go of, but I don't expect them to be best buddies or hold hands in Kumbaya. But I do hope the fans can let go of the beef, because that seems to be the main reason the tension drags on. Both of the women involved seem to have moved on and are in completely different stages of their life. Nikki is about to be a mother and wife, Cardi is returning to music and approaching a different sound. In other news, Dua Lipa has confirmed that she has a collaboration with Madonna, which is something I was personally excited for. As most of you know, Madonna has been an inspiration for Dua and an even bigger inspiration on her album Future Nostalgia. So it's nice to see her get that recognition from people she's looked up to. Not only did she confirm that Madonna will be on the Levitating remix, which is something I'm interested to see how Madonna will fit on that song and what she'll bring to the table, but Dua's also releasing an entire remix album, and the album features Missy Elliott, Gwen Stefani, and a few more unnamed celebrities that she's keeping hidden for the release. Dua really dug into the archives and brought these legends and icons out of hiding. I haven't heard a collaborative remix album, especially from a pop act, in a long time. So I hope it sounds good. Dua also confirmed that there will be a B-side to Future Nostalgia, stating that it will be coming really soon and will last until 2021. So that about concludes my thoughts. She's been on her A game and I hope that these releases are good. Tell me what you guys think about WAP and Dua's upcoming remix album down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.